Hello, gamers! Welcome to a new video where we're going to take a look at some of the, um, dare we say, more likely characters to become playable for Warner Brothers Multiverses game. And again, we got to take a look at it and go, well, it is Warner Brothers. And well, Warner Brothers owns a ton of IPs. They have a lot at their disposal to uh, pick from. And I think possibly, possibly one way to look at this is what does Warner Brothers have releasing? So we could take a look at some maybe films or shows or just whatever that might be coming out in the near future. Uh, again, we don't have a concrete release date for multiverses. Uh, hopefully we at least get some sort of information very soon about maybe those uh, beta tests that uh, they're gonna send out. Hopefully we get into those, that'd be great. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at seven series that may, may, not a confirmation, but may have a chance to uh, have, well, a higher chance uh, to have a playable representative from their series. And let's start off with The Matrix Resurrection. Now, this is a movie that is releasing, and technically, what, Matrix 4, really? But Matrix Resurrection, it is essentially, uh, well, another Warner Brothers property. But the, the film, it does release in December. I believe it's December of 2000, well, yeah, this year, but like December 22nd, I think it is. So it's a little before Christmas, but again, it's gonna be a big film for Warner Brothers. Uh, of course, after it comes out in theaters, you know, maybe a couple months after, they're gonna release it uh, for streaming platforms, for DVD releases, whatever else it might be. So again, they're gonna be back in this, and now that they have their own fighting game, what are the odds that they may, and again, may, we're not gonna take a look at too much into those rumored leaks that may be uh, real or fake, we don't know at this point, but uh, if Neo from The Matrix, maybe he ends up making a, an appearance playable in this game. And they give him like an alternate costume, an updated look from The Matrix 4, from The Matrix Resurrection. That's a possible uh, route to go. But, uh, you know, it, it's Warner Brothers. It's literally their game. If they want to put stuff into this game, multiverses, to promote movies, well, I mean, we can't really stop them. And now let's go down the superhero road, right? Uh, I... Man, this, uh, 2022, as long as nothing gets delayed, there's going to be a lot of stuff for Warner Brothers. So uh, we'll start off with The Flash. We got The Flash movie coming out. I believe it's supposed to be November for next year, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but either way, I think I believe The, the Flash movie is coming out next year, uh, which is big. So they could have another superhero. We've already seen Batman and Wonder Woman and Super uh, Superman. Uh, we've also seen Harley Quinn, villain, pretty cool. But uh, The Flash, nonetheless. Another uh, very big superhero in the uh, DC world. So possibly with his moves and him being uh, a speedster, he could possib possibly be like a, a Sonic type character if you've played Injustice. There's plenty to uh, pick from for a move set there. So Flash no doubt has the abilities to become a playable character. And with his uh, film coming out, yeah, there's a good chance there's a tie-in feature there. Sticking with the superhero type theme, DC, we got Black Adam. Now, okay, okay, okay. I know, I know Black Adam. We got The Rock, you know, Dwayne Johnson. What, what would be the odds that uh, if Black Adam were to become a playable character in Multiverses, what are the odds that Dwayne actually voices him? I, uh, I don't know. So maybe that might be a, maybe that's a, a, a strike against this character, but you never know. You never know. But uh, they got other characters that will be in the Black Adam film. Right, um, like characters, uh, I believe what, Adam Smasher is going to be in the movie, I believe I've seen. Uh, Hawkman is going to be in the movie, I believe as well. Or you could even go with Dr. Fate, that'd be kind of an uh, interesting one there. So uh, they, they got some, there's a lot of notable names coming out in the Black Adam movie that uh, they could possibly, you know, tie into this game as well. And of course, uh, if the character was already planned for the game, well, there's always that option we could get you know, a, an alternate costume for either of these characters based on their appearance from the upcoming movie. And we'll end off the superhero portion of this list with Aquaman. I believe this movie is also scheduled for late 2022. So again, you know, depending on when the game comes out, they could market this uh, towards, hey, look, Aquaman's coming out. Like they could even put that in the game itself, have like a bumper on the front page of the game, like, hey, Aquaman coming to theaters or whatever it might be, so, you know, a good way to promote it. And, of course, uh, depending on, you know, which Aquaman version gets playable, you could also have the tie-in to the 
the movie costume, you know, with the orange guild suit, uh, the different tridents, and uh, whatever whatever weapons he might use. There's different attires that you can really choose from, which, uh, you know, kind of makes it fun, and just different ways to kind of represent Aquaman. All right, up next, this one's going to be a wacky one, but I'm going to go with Willy Wonka. Now, somebody please correct me if you know, but uh, I do know that Warner Brothers owns... The original, uh, the original Willy Wonka movie. I know that they own the rights to that. And there is a new Willy Wonka movie in production at Warner Brothers Studio. This is a fact. Now, I don't know, because for some reason I couldn't find this. Uh, maybe I was searching it wrong. But I don't know who owns the actual character rights. So if, this one's an if, if Warner Brothers does own the character distribution to, you know, media properties like movies or in this case a video game, could you imagine? <laughs> could you imagine Willy Wonka in multiverses? That would be so weird. But isn't that kind of the charm of this game? All these really strange universes that have nothing to do with anything. What does Batman have to do with Adventure Time? Nothing. What does Scooby Doo have to do with Game of Thrones? Nothing. What would Willy Wonka have to do with any of these? Nothing. Maybe that's what ties them all together. The nothing. <laughs> see what I did there? There's the story tie-in? Yeah, maybe. We'll see. But Willy Wonka, nonetheless, strange pick. But, uh, again, if Warner Brothers owns the character rights, I, I yeah, this is a possibility. And with the new movie, I think this is... Or, no, this movie might be coming out in 2023. But still, it's it could be a possibility. Well, let's get back to the Looney Tunes here a little bit. Although we haven't really touched on them. So, uh, either way, the uh, Wiley Coyote himself. If you haven't heard, there is a... Coyote vs. Acme movie that is scheduled for release in 2023. Again, it's a Looney Tune. This one is fairly easy to add to the game. It's not like they have to jump through hoops to make this one happen, like they might have to for Willy Wonka, potentially. But Wile E. Coyote, very recognizable. Tons of people know the name. Move so it would be great. Advertised their movie. Uh, and sure, you can make a case that other Looney Tunes should be ahead of them, like Daffy Duck. Tasmanian Devil, uh, whoever you want, whoever you want to make a case for, it's fine. But nonetheless, Wiley e. Coyote would be, well, I think a very welcomed addition in uh, many people's eyes. And last but not least, <laughs> I'm going with the Fantastic Beast and the, uh, what is it, the Secret, the Dumbledore, I think. So look, you could go two routes here, right? Uh, we we do know that there is rumors about possibly Harry Potter and maybe Ron Weasley. Was that what it? I think. But uh, we know those were possibilities. So what if, what if we do get Harry Potter or Ron or both, whatever it might be, if we get those, what are the chances that they wanted to sort of double dip into the spinoff series, the, uh, you know, the Fantastic Beast series? What if they went with like Newt Scamander or what if they even gave us like Dumbledore? Now, again, if we're going to talk about possible leaks that might uh, end up being real uh, probably will because we've seen a few of the screenshots but we do know that um, Gandalf should be a playable character in this game and if Gandalf's in this game would they really put uh, <laughs> would they put Dumbledore in this does anybody want to see Gandalf face off against Dumbledore I mean maybe but then if Dumbledore happens to be a character you could give him you know a young Dumbledore look if you want but I don't know just something kind of weird and different to think about i suppose but uh yes that is all i got for this one there's what seven characters that may have a better chance of becoming playable than well other characters just based off of this is what warner brothers has coming out and if they want to advertise it they got uh, they got a video game to do that so yeah there you go